marketing in peril of becoming programmatic. Not to humble brag, I've been known to write a few books on experiential marketing and for the people that I respect and admire professionally, <clears throat> they think it's pretty good. So I think I have a little bit of experience in talking about experiential and experiential is becoming a really hot topic right now, particularly since as we talk about brand health and brand trust, the idea that brand experiences are much more trustworthy and shareable than brand promises or brand messages. So experiential is becoming important in that regard in terms of getting brands to be more trustworthy and accept relevance in our lives and are actually providing a kind of benefit or services from the products and the services that they give us. And on the one hand, you could say, what's experiential? You know, the Chevy ads that are not actors, real people, you know, they've been running it for a year, maybe a little bit more. That could be considered experiential, where it's real people, you know, getting put into kind of guest stage experiences, but it's still kind of real. I think Fearless Girl could be considered experiential. It happens in the real world. It's big, it's, it's powerful, it's evocative. And then there's the, the yin to that yang experiential, which is all the quote unquote below the line stuff, right? The sampling, the promotional stuff, the event marketing, all, all those things. And direct marketing could be experiential to a certain extent. So there's this inner balance between large scale experiential and kind of below the line everyday experiences. And it's occurred to me that really, if you're doing experiential, you can only do it in two ways. Everything else in the middle is just noise. Just stuff. It's just retargeted ads, so to speak. On the one hand, if you're doing experiential and you're providing a true utility, a true service, an authentic benefit to the audience or the, to, to your customers or to your consumers, to people, if you're providing through this experience a true service, a utility, then you are doing experiential right. And if you're creating experiences, branded or not, or sponsored experiences that truly amaze people, inspire them, create the sense of, wow, I did not expect that, and somehow my existential approach to life is slightly, slightly tweaked. I've been inspired. I've been struck by an insight or a thought on behalf of a brand or an organization, and that happens in the real world in my life. I am amazed. Then you're doing experiential marketing right. Everything in the middle is just white noise. It's what ads are in digital these days. It's something that is not noticed. Sampling, not noticed. So, if you're doing experiential and you don't want it to become just another piece of media, you don't want your brand experiences to be programmatic in nature, then there's only two ways of doing experiential marketing. One is deep utility and benefit. The other is amazement and inspiration. Everything else, stay away. Hi from DC.